Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to be making um, a close approximation of this Pepsi logo. Uh, so what you're going to need to do first is uh, open up the Pepsi logo file from the uh, tutorials. Uh, and then we're going to be trying to match this uh, as closely as possible. Um, if you don't have the tutorial file, I'm sure you can uh, find this picture or something similar on the internet. Uh, so I'll just move this out of the way and I'll make a new file. Okay, we'll go uh, to a size of 400 by 400. Uh, and if you want, you can set a custom background color. Uh, and you can click on the other image uh, to actually pick up the same color. So we'll click on OK. And then what you'll get is this uh, same background color. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. Um, go to the place that you're, you're saving your files and I'm going to call this one uh, My Pepsi Logo. Uh, that way I know uh, which one's which. Okay, uh, so the first thing that we need is a circle. Uh, so the color is going to be white, uh, and if you hold shift down on the keyboard, uh, you'll be able to get a nice circle here. Okay, so that's the outside circle. Uh, next one we're going to do is we're going to do the, uh, the red half circle. Uh, so what you're going to do here is you are going to clone the circle. So that way we've got two. Uh, next thing, you're going to go to Transform, Numeric. And uh, scale-wise, we're going to drop this uh, to 92%. Click on OK. And we're going to change its color uh, to red. So you see we still get this white uh, edging around the outside and that's fine. Now we have to figure out how to take the circle that we've got that's whole and basically cut an arc uh, across the side here. There's a couple different ways to do it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool for this. So switch to the pen tool and it might be helpful to give yourself a very strange inside color that you're not going to use in this image. Uh, that way it's it's kind of easier to see this. Uh, okay so uh, you want to start on one side of the circle your next point is going to be where you figure that the arc sort of has its peak. So I'm going to pick there. I mean, I can fix it later. You'll see that. Uh, then click on the other side. And we just want to click around the circle, ending back at the beginning, uh, basically to fill in the shape. Now, this is a straight edge and not an arc. Uh, so with the pen, pen tool still selected, click and drag on the, I got that the wrong way, uh, click and drag on the point in the middle and you can change the slope of this line. So you might not get it entirely correct, which is totally fine. So now that we've got a, a nice smooth curve here, you're going to use the pointer, click on the uh, strangely colored cover. You're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and click on the red circle. So now both of these are selected. What we're going to do here is go to Modify, Combine Paths. There's a ton of really useful things in here. Uh, and we're going to Crop. And what it does is it takes whatever you had as the cover over top of that, uh, and it removes anything left over that wasn't covered by it. Uh, so we get this kind of uh, slope here, very similar to the Pepsi logo. Uh, so we're going to get the blue portion done. So uh, click on the white circle, modify, transform. Oh, whoops, wrong, uh, edit, <laughs> clone first. Uh, then we're going to transform, we'll do a numeric, uh, scale it down by 92%. And uh, color-wise, uh, I'm going to click on the other image to pick up the same blue that's in the bottom part of that logo. Okay, so now this one's going to be a lot more difficult because there's a, a much more distinct swoosh uh, to this part of the logo. So again, 
we're going to start on one side. Uh, moving, um, this one might require a couple points. So the the curve is fairly smooth for the first point, very gentle. And then we get this big dip, so I figure maybe it'll stop out there. And then I'm going to go clean off the page here. And this is where I can start clicking around, just heading back to the original. Uh, I see I still have my fill color here, so I'm going to switch this to uh, that green. Okay, so uh, fixing the arcs a little bit. Um, so now I know that's a fairly dramatic uh, pull here. This one is pretty gentle. Okay, and I'm going to then crop. So make sure that your cover is selected hold shift, click on the blue circle, and we're going to go to edit, um, sorry, modify, uh, combine paths, and then crop. And then we'll get this. Now, it's clearly not perfect, uh, so I'm going to show you how to do a few touch-ups. So click on the bottom shape here, and you'll probably need to do this to some degree. Uh, use the white pointer, which is the sub-selection tool, and you can actually click on individual points and change how they are sloped. So I'm going to move this down, change the slope a little bit here, and play around with that. I think I made it worse. Um, but basically, you can click on this and uh, do any adjustment that you want just until you're satisfied. Uh, and then once you've got this finished, uh, you can uh, save this and move on to your next project.